the hell? Welcome back to another Wednesday night at Heroes and Hooligans. <laughs> we are definitely getting into some shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, we are doing definitely not Disney things in this Once Upon a Key campaign. Where these lovely characters are sitting in a glass elevator. Why did somebody, uh, somebody tell me what happened last week? Recap for a chaos coin. <laughs> There was a flaming skull, and he told us lots of riddles, and we all did bad. Um, and then he was kind of the gatekeeper for where we're trying to go, um, up to see uh, Glenn, the mediocre lich. <laughs> and he... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and last we left off we managed to answer enough riddles to at least get the up part down and now he told us that we had to wait um, for however long until Glenn decided to show up I guess um, so now we're just waiting and there's food and stuff I think I remember and yeah, it was a very hospitable place to wait. Yes. So yeah. you could get some a short rest in while you're waiting, you know, any of those kind of things. Beneficial to the warlock for certain. Yes. <clears throat> Appreciate yeah. it. So you're chilling in mm -hmm. the waiting room. And uh, it's a nice waiting room. It's got some nice music playing, uh, a little bit of uh, some lo-fi going on there. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's a dog. <laughs> you said hello and they said goodbye. <laughs> Uh, so you're sitting there, you're jamming, you're eating. What are you eating? Tell me what you're eating. Beer. <laughs> Liquid pork chop. Got it, Philly. Jack, what are you having? Uh, I don't ever hear what you're eating. You never tell us. Me? Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I'll kind of just pick at probably if there's a cheese or something like that and just kind of very curious about this place more than anything not really digging in just a little impatient more than anything <laughs> i already know what ollie's eating 40 kilograms of vegetable matter <laughs> and the blood of his enemies as salad dressing <laughs> <clears throat> more specifically only shambling mouths and minotaur Shambl shambling mouths you know what that was just a shambler for your love well, I can't believe we tried to eat it, too. We did try. It tried and We're succeeded, poisoned. sort of. Yeah. Uh, should, have never, should have never done that. But What are you well, eating, Merrick? Bacon. Lots and lots of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's like a nice um, charcuterie board. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, yeah, just like the little cube cheeses, just picking up and wow. like that's the super so fancy ones where the salami is like a rose. Yeah, <laughs> it's just that's like it. I think a charcuterie Jack's board. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, it's so interesting the way you guys eat because it's like when I eat something, it's basically just exactly as it was in nature, and I just pull it off a tree and eat it. There's no processing of it other than inside of my stomach. It's, uh, I exclusively eat and drink processed things, actually. <clears throat> right, the fermented uh, wheat and stuff. Mm -hmm. Fermented meats, fermented cheeses, and fermented liquids. Fermented everything. Mm. Oh. So, so fermented diet. <laughs> while you're sitting around eating your sort of uh, glass elevator slash waiting room, 
moves shoo, and stops and the doors sling open oh all right hello <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> wow. StreamYard, don't play me like this. No. Of course. It's my, this is my computer telling me, you haven't shut me down in days. I'm not going to do all of the things <laughs> properly. So I have to open it in the internet, and then it'll be fine. Google Chrome. Pow. I just won't be able to draw on it. Sorry, kiddos. We don't get any fancy hooli draws today. But you find yourself sitting in a glass box outside of a lighthouse. This part right here. In a glass uh, box? Well, it's open the, now. The elevator. That the elevator, elevator yeah. Um, uh, jackal stick their head out hello you hear some big what? in the background oh it's you um <laughs> whoosh. 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 yes the door is open yeah i, I noticed I stuck, uh Oh, okay, I guess. Use the door. You're about as useful as Glenn. All right. Uh, to the very insulting skull. <laughs> we'll walk out. Ben, you guess... didn't tell me we had guests arriving. I was too busy baking that cake for Gygax Day. Again. Oh. Glenn. I told you, we, we crossed that day off the calendar long ago. Maybe you did. Now please, introduce me to your friends. Who have you brought along? These people are not my friends. I don't have any friends, thanks to you. <laughs> well, that's apparent. Uh, we and I don't friends. think a city comes with me. Hello! 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 <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, we could be friends if you stop, you know, being so rude. Um, don't mind I, him, he's just a little hot. Can't, <laughs> can't help being rude, that's his default setting. I was uh, okay. Um, hi, uh, Glenn, yes, that's me, Glenn the Good Lich. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> you see uh, uh let me let me describe sorry i have a fly in my room it's bothering me uh you see uh before you uh what would typically be your uh possibly very soul crushingly frightening lich if it weren't for uh his uh spectral lichdom crown being a flower crown and uh it, it it spikes just going into the most like floor de lis points uh it, it just uh, above his head and a uh, cape uh just shawled over his shoulders uh friend uh we're actually we're here to see you i'm i'm oh, phyllis really? Yeah. Me of all people? Oh my dear over uh, ever so. Uh we Ollie? Told you might be able to help. Yeah. Yeah, Ollie. Well see the thing is, Glenn. The thing is that we're part of a very powerful organization that's been sent here uh for various personal and business reasons. Oh, uh, well, sorry, I'm familiar with so many big and powerful organizations. You'll have to re-familiarize me. And well, I think you can't even remember anything. They're called the Hand. Oh, I, I know the Hand quite well. <laughs> oh, good. Well, um. yes. Well, you should know then that 
darkness has overtaken these lands and the the creatures here are turning dark and there's been uh the heartless we saw the heartless that were here oh yes they're quite frightening and clanky I uh, throw my uh, stone at Glenn and say, catch! Whoop! <laughs> he catches it real quick. What happens? <laughs> Such a good stone. <laughs> <laughs> it does the thing that indicates that you can trust Glenn. It like blinks out in his hand and comes back to yours. All right. Sick. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Oh, how cute! Oh, Look what the people do things with their hands. Mm. Uh, nice. All right, so we real can nice. trust. Real good. We can trust Glenn. He passed the rock test. Oh, the rock a... test is that what you call it? I love that. That's <laughs> what wonderful. What are we going to call it? Uh, you have a nice uh, like couch or something I could sit on while we're just. Oh, talking. of course! Please come right in. Uh, uh, and you were. I'm Ollie. Ollie, yeah. yes, please, please, uh, uh, right over here. You see a, a very lush. Hello, uh, I'm Temper. <laughs> Your party healthcare companion. 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 I can heal broken bones. I can heal broken skin, but I can't heal broken hearts. Not <laughs> yet. yet. Oh. <laughs> well, you're tapping into a magic even I haven't found just yet. Uh, yeah, and I'm I'm Jack. Um, so. Can you help us with the whole darkness thing? Knock, or... knock. Who's there? Yes. Who's Hello? there? Mm -hmm. Banana. Life. Banana who? Knock, knock. Banana. Wait, who's there? <laughs> Banana. Hello. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, and this uh, this uh, is uh, Topsy. Uh, uh, uh. Um my friend from home. Um a friend. It, They've got quite the sense of humor. That's recent. Um <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, here, here's the thing. Um we're not from here. I mean, Ollie's from here, but we're not from here. And um, how can we uh, help you help us get hmm. home? Well, to be quite honest, my desires are, well, let's say we'll save those for later. But uh, as for helping you now, uh, your friend here, uh, uh, you're from the local uh, 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 tribes across the land, of course, yes? Ali, you said? Mm hmm. Your uh, king. How, how is the king lately? Oh, I don't know. I. I never got involved with the th affairs of the king or anything. I was more like, just kind of like a circus worker. Who's the king? Yeah, who's the Loxodon king? Uh, king Ender uh, would be his name. Uh, hmm. He uh, is the current ruler over those lands. Uh, and the one who has his ear, I may believe is the one responsible for the darkness that had arrived here. Oh. So he has to get his ear back? The, who is uh... the one who has oh, his ear? Mm, quite literal. And I see I see what you would uh, 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 gestures to his own missing like ear. Uh the no, um oh, what was his name? It it it's it, something illiterate. 
uh, 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 alliterative. Uh, 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 the, uh, the mad the mage? Are you talking yeah, about the mage? That's it. The mad minotaur mage. That's him. Mad minotaur. I don't think we knew minotaur. <laughs> I only oh, have mad mage written down. I think I hear what you're saying, Glenn. Ollie, do you think uh -huh. your your brother's the mad minotaur mage? What's the name of the mad minotaur mage? Oh, I'll, I'll, I, I've only ever known as the MMM myself. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm, indeed. I wonder if that's mm. my half brother. That's what, what I say whenever I think about him. Mm. 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 <laughs> Your half brother, you say? Oh, no. I don't want to talk about it too much, man. Oh, oh, are you sure? Yeah. It seems pertinent. Oh, it does. His mom but... fucked a minotaur. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh that's day. very pertinent. Oh. Uh, 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 Glenn baby. immediately un uh, like prestidigitates a, 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 a fan and like a fans himself. <laughs> <laughs> Topsy, um, there, there's some jokes that we shouldn't really touch, you know, um, specifically ones that uh, our friends might want to squish you over. So, no, oh, um, I'll never squish anybody over a joke, though. There's nothing wrong with a horny minotaur. It just I, means it's healthy. It's supposed to be that way. It's just then my little half brother killed my mama. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, yeah, so what? I feel like it would make oh, sense dear. that your brother's probably the mm. Hmm. Hmm. We could call him 3M and his friends would be his company. Oh my goodness. His name is Morton Morton Morton. That's how he pronounces it. Morton. The Mad Minotaur Mage. Gosh. Mush fans don't even know what you're talking about. Morton. Morton. I think it's he's trying to say Martin, but he can't. Martin. Well, Morton. Uh, Morton, uh, the Mad Manator Mage. Have Martin? you visited Eggs. the death pits? Like Morton? Morton? No, we need to respect like, the way he says it. Morton. 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 <laughs> now, when you go up to him, you say, now, Morton, listen here. Listen to him. <laughs> okay. I hear you, Phyllis. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Morton. Yes. Yes. Uh, really up there. Get Morton. Morton. There you go. Yes, Morton. just like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, don't get too okay. high of a pitch. You're going to sound like you're and calling something else. It, 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 and <laughs> what? Uh, you want us to... Give him a stern talking to? I, I don't... Oh, I want to give him more than that. <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> oh, wow. what, if it's I your brother, I, can... I definitely wouldn't... Oh, my goodness. You meat bags are so... I told you, Glenn. Ah. Summoning oh. Morton the Mad Minotaur Mage. You go out, you get a dairy cow. Make sure she's nice and big and round, healthy dairy cow. Put a... Ben, nice that's stereotyping. I don't like hat. that at all. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dairy cow. You put a hat on her head, and then turn her around in three circles, and then call for Morton. He'll show up. Uh, okay. Oh, Ben, what am I going that to could do be with a you? Trap I have to get to the buckets you. again. No, ah. Ben is absolutely correct. I think this is a great idea. We trick him to come out there and take an, and attack one of these poor innocent cows. What are you talking about? And then he, he always has cereal in the morning. He needs milk for his dairy cow. I can't. What? what? Are you uh, saying that they? But me. If he has, if you already know he has cereal every morning, why don't you just poison it? Oh. oh. They smell poison. He's got a nose the size of a small dog. Ben, you've been around me long enough to know there are ways to make poison you cannot smell. Yeah, for people that have noses, that'd be nice. But you pfft, my nose, didn't you, Glenn? Thanks a lot. Well, we see how you turned out then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you and your survival tactics. <laughs> yes, well. Huh. Um, uh, and I feel like you guys have, like, a thing going on here. Yeah. Um, and, like... <laughs> 
We're trying to save the world. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Uh, oh, Uhuli, does, does Glenn have uh, it, some sort of like map? <laughs> <laughs> some sort of like map to provide them with, or something that would like guide them in the direction of uh, <laughs> a, 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 of the Mad Minotaur's mage, or at least, uh, if not that, maybe the king's castle, Dang. or a cow. Yes, hold. A fat dairy cow. Or a cow. <laughs> if there's a local dairy farm. Like, yeah. Who's the closest if, if, one? If Glenn has a portal to Dairy World. Uh, dairy World? They have a general layout of the Mistlands that they're aware of. Okay. Which is... Here. So you guys are up here at Lichto's Point. You've been to Gloverfell. You started at the Savage Circus and you have also been to Lewis Mac Hollow. You did not go to the Labyrinth of Ender or Ashbone, but uh, Rathcliff is the area where uh, M is located. And uh, uh, we passed by there, right? You did when you were leaving the Cliffs of Wrath. You could yeah. see this. Uh, think of like Sauron's Tower or Saruman's Tower and the Two Towers where it's kind of like in the middle there. You could see it all through the forest lands. That is uh, essentially how this functions when you were going through on the river. You could see it towering over the trees. It's up on a hill. All that fancy fun shit that you do when you're a mad mage in a tower. Um, and where's the dairy farm? <laughs> mm, that possibly doesn't exist. You might just have to find a random cow somewhere. Alright, <clears throat> <laughs> 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 um, okay. Well, so, well, wait a minute, I have an idea. Okay. Yeah. What if, what if I dressed up like a cow, a female cow? <laughs> We gotta get you a nice hat. Do you think you could hide like this? I could paint some spots on you. We I gotta guess. have somewhere that milk <laughs> comes out of them. <laughs> oh, oh Phyllis, I'm not sure it works like that. Because <laughs> he's coming for milk for his cereal. Please don't milk Ollie. <laughs> what, what, what if I just had my trunk buried into the ground and it wow. looked like a <laughs> and it looked like I was just nibbling, though. Do you, like, I, hide I think your face? Maybe? You might get away with it until the first bite. Yeah. I, I mean, maybe this guy what? has some magic we could use to turn you into a cow. Ooh, uh, polymorph to... can get very dangerous very quickly. Uh, I wouldn't mm -hmm. want to subject any of you to that. Uh... Yeah, and I used to have a meat suit, too, so don't trust Glenn. Suit. Don't listen to him. I've got something here that'll reverse it. He looks questioningly around his house. <laughs> um, it's probably well, next to where you put your keys in that safe I, place. I think. Uh, oh, hmm. they're lost forever then. Let's see what I have. Um. Yeah, I don't think I can do that, but... Don't you have any books on Minotaur mating calls? Maybe that would work. I mean... <laughs> you just have to ask <laughs> Ollie's mom. I mean, that's what I was thinking, <laughs> but I wasn't going to say it. Oh no, he's got me into it. <laughs> um, well. Yeah, like, do we know what what mm, is into? Mm. <laughs> I do my best to keep my business my business, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, fair enough. Uh, oh, could you? Uh, you know he likes cereal. Could you do a scrying on him? Ooh. Hmm. Uh, it, it, uh, he looks around, and he does have a scrying stone, I believe, deeper in his house. Like, oh upstairs, I think. You really want me to get that thing out again? 
Uh, oh, it's no trouble <laughs> you, you for left, you. You left it on the last time you fell asleep and left it on. <laughs> I came into the room and it was... Look, when I'm watching my <laughs> stories, I'd fall asleep sometimes. <laughs> I just don't even care how many times the butler has to ring the bell and then the lady's all like, oh, no, la, 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 la. <laughs> Uh, Look, my unseen servant doesn't bother anyone, and I would, would, would gladly ask you to leave him out of this. Yeah, right. Can I have one of those? Oh, yeah. they're just wonderful to have around. They are. How do you ever know they're there? Um, <laughs> True sight, sweetie. I don't yeah. have that, but I tell it to do things, and the things happen, so I assume. <laughs> Once you fill your phylactery, you'll see. Wait, no, I, don't do that. I'm just... I, I, mm. <laughs> Unless you just want gorgeous skin like mine. It's like a piece falls off. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, oh, I yeah. think we're on different paths, but um, yeah. you look great. You do. Thank you. You do. No, believe me, I'm all for this. You, you, the hand. You, you're the bringers of the light and defenders against the dark. I'm here for it. I'm all about it. Please, oh, if there's anything I can do, let me know. <laughs> and Ben, please use Ben. Mm -hmm. like, do you have like a very you want to do it right? Magic weapon or something we can stab into the heart of the. Uh, 3M. I have something lying around, but I I feel like honestly you can handle this maybe after a little more reconnaissance. We'll see how things are going. Okay, so to recap, basically you've said we can call him with the dairy cow. I did not say, I want to be very clear. I did not once speak of the dairy cow. That was all y'all. No, oh, that was... That was personally, personally, I would just go to the tower. See what you can learn. But maybe not go in it just yet. You might okay, need to and, scope and, things out. And then, I mean, we were kind of by the tower and we came here I, I, I'm just for you to help us yeah and all you yeah. said was go back go back to <clears throat> the tower yeah we had our ship we had a real Romandy. nice ship Ben how much taken. information am I getting out of this I'm <laughs> not scrying on these kids all day I don't know what these meat bags have to offer they answered my riddles I let them in the door that was the idea what but I can go want? and get the squaring scoot down if you want. I know where it is. All right. Well, let's go see what we can find out with the scrying. All right. All right. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I was bored after the first time. They oh, got the you're, you're, you're really going to scry for us? Now, this will take some doing. But Ugh. hopefully he won't know we're there. Wow, this is really nice of you. You could just find, you could just I, try and find us a dairy cow. I love the hopefully in that sentence. Mm hmm. hmm. You get right. Maybe let's focus on the king. <laughs> the king may show us the whereabouts of people nearby. Mm -hmm. And I believe his willpower is a little weaker at the moment, let's say. Okay. Uh, hmm. So, uh, Glenn is going to try and cast Scrying on the king. Ben's going to fly around like an old antenna and try to help dial it in. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn lands on the king in his private chambers, meeting with his small council, um, upon where you see several Minotaur, the Loxodon king who wears a hat on his head that has horns because he thinks he's also a Minotaur. And you see a very magely dressed uh, figure 
whose face you cannot see, but as their hands move, they appear um, as skeletal as Glenn, the good liches do. See, he's, his wardrobe is just so dreary. I'm into mm. it. No sense of style. It's edgy. Uh, if you like that kind of thing. Uh, what are they talking about? Hmm. Uh, yeah, Glenn, scrying. turn up the volume. Scrying. Can I hear through that? I can't remember. Uh, let me double check. See, or it's is it one or the other? Ali, you used to scry as Handuki all the time. I scried the hell out of some enemies. For yeah, you did. So you watching them go in the bathroom. So they're all they're all in the king's chambers. The in the chambers. like in the council, like the small council chamber of the king. You can see and hear through the sensor as if you were there. The sensor moves with the target, remaining within ten feet of it for the duration. Okay, you hear him planning um, a strategic military advancement on the Loxodon city of Ashbone, which is the last standing Loxodon city in all of the Mistlands because 87% uh, of the Loxodon population has been subjugated. <clears throat> Should we go to Ashburn and warn them? Should we just storm the castle? Storm the castle. storm in the castle. Should we just... We're going to sneak in the castle. Sneak in? Uh, As um, pilgrims. Do you see the robed figure um, kind of wave his hand <clears throat> over the scale of the Mistlands, which is set up like a battlefield. And as he does, he kind of waves his hand over and you see the tower and marching out of the tower are droves of enemies. And they appear to be like frothing at the mouth for battle. They look like minotaurs, but much more meaty. Well fed. Mm. Mm, now we know where's the beef. Like, <laughs> I would say more meaty as in three bites off a chicken wing kind of meaty. Oh, wow. A flat? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so they're like Orkai, <laughs> but Minotaur Orkai. That sound okay. better? Is that a better explanation? Okay, great. They just don't have the white hand on their face. <laughs> awesome. It's like hulked out Minotaur. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see just armies of them, like droves and droves of them being um. marched out of the Wrath Cliff Tower as um, you hear this kind of shaky deep ethereal voice come from the cloaked like figure that says the armies are ready. Mm. Hmm. Sounds like you may need it there sooner than later. Uh, how, yeah. I, how? We can't take on an army. Yeah. Hmm. We can barely take on four Heartless at once. Well, maybe we should like go to the tower after the army leaves and take that 3M and just throw him down in his own death pit. But here's you know? the thing. If we do take him out, like is, that's not going to stop the army. Yeah. Like, I think we have, we have a decision to make. Either evacuating the town maybe. and saving the people. Well, we have to if we can find the source of the darkness, uh, like in uh, Hundred Acre Woods, it was the the honey addiction. Like, what's the darkness? Here? Just before the scrying spell ends, um, once the vision of the army stops, you see the um, robed figure move his body, like kind of. He was facing sideways at the king but like as he kind of turns and looks directly at him you see holding in his hand he has a long wizard staff and in the top of it is this like rotating black ball of darkness that kind of looks like the heartless that you've come across before oh 
there's anything that might be controlling your little heartless problem. It's definitely it the like... hat of the king. Yeah. <laughs> Phyllis, you're so close. <laughs> okay. About a, 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 a Glenn, Glenn reaches down and gently tilts Phyllis's head over towards the staff. Oh, <laughs> the black thing. There oh. you go. Mm. Well, Phyllis, roll me. Yeah. Um, Phyllis, roll me a wisdom save. <gasps> <laughs> We're good at breaking things, at least. Six. Yeah, so just as you, um, Glenn, turns your head and you lock eyes with the staff, the um, <laughs> robed mage figure locks eyes with you. Oh. You feel this, like, burning sensation in your mind as he locks eyes with you. And <clears throat> the scry, like, he waves his hand and the scry spell is immediately dropped. And you're uh -oh. feeling, like, crippled in your mind for a moment like your brain feels like it was just melted as he locked eyes with you like worse than the worst hangover you've ever had times ooh, 11 ooh, he, he saw you right at the end there didn't he i'm sorry i should have shut that off a minute ago mm. here i've got just the thing uh and glenn like goes over to his cabinets and uh pulls out what he definitely has is like his hangover cure. Uh, because uh, with his garden full of different alchemical ingredients, you know he makes his own spirits. Because mm. he has to keep trying something to see if he can taste it. Okay. Which I fly one? over there. I fly over yeah, there. Which he plan. can't. <laughs> he has yet to find a recipe that he can taste. Ah, <laughs> uh, not again, not again, not again. Okay, okay. Yeah, put put it. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right, good. Okay. And then I boil it. <laughs> Should be good. Here um, you go. When I do the things that simulate your mortal hangovers, this is what I take. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> it tastes like a uh, wheatgrass shot. <laughs> like the most LA uh, Air One wheatgrass shot you could get uh, on a Tuesday afternoon. I used to sell those out of a street cart. Like a child, like a little mud pie. These yeah. like straight up dirt in a cup. No, for eight hours a day, nine to five during the lunch rush. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Those elves loved it. They would come on down. They were like, oh, yes. Oh, my I goodness. Standing right out outside of the tree bank, just uh, like as the wood elves would come out, they loved that shit. Yes. I feel a Wouldn't little bit enough. better, but to be honest, I feel like I've gone too far the other way. Uh, <laughs> And now I think I need a drink. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I know where that cabinet is. <laughs> <laughs> Your pen <right>. flies. <laughs> Hello. I think our time is quite limited. Um, well, don't worry. You're safe well, here for the time being. It'll take. But some time uh, for I do believe time is of the essence. Well, so I guess. I guess the choice is the town or the tower. I guess if we destroy the stuff, black ball so. will be. I mean, I'm just saying we're great at breaking things, so that's what we have to do. Yeah, we just have to fight the most powerful person in this world, and it's fine. Take their magic stick. Well, Believe me, he's a wannabe. At least where I'm considered. He, well, maybe, maybe. If he's so uh, easy, why don't you do it, Glenn? I was gonna ask the same thing. All these people, they're like, "Oh, oh, you guys will be fine. You guys will be fine." The Dear, water. I'm not the one with the stone in their hand. You. <laughs> What does this, like, stone have to do with 
helping save the the land and everything. I throw I you, throw uh, the stone correct back me at him. <laughs> he, he, he catches it. It does the same thing, I would assume. It just, it just hot potato, back. hot potato. Hot potato. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, back in with the cart. I'm pulling the main if I'm in the wrong, cart. But you drank the juice, <laughs> literally. Like you are, you are the destined. You're the ones. And he points it's under to duress you at your heart. It's under duress. You are the ones with the light. We're the chosen. Me, me, I look at look at me. I'm playing at light to atone for what it took me to get here. But all of you, you're the ones making the light happen now. And it's your job to fix it. Light smite. I got light. Look at mine. <laughs> I can make everything right. The All the temperature in here, that, like at least ten degrees. That sounds great. Let's send uh -huh. it. Well, Man. here's the booze cart. I gotta run. Take that rock and put it in a glass. You'll be feeling better in no time. Just don't drink any more of that nasty wheatgrass. I gotta go. <laughs> Thanks for the drink. Yeah. He has a weekly poker night that he thinks I don't know about. Are you guys like together? We were. <laughs> it's complicated. Oh. He lives here still, technically. His name's on the lease. Yeah. Uh, it's a whole thing. I understand. It, it would be nice <laughs> if you were a bitch. You'd have a lifelong and eternal companion forever. Exactly. And if you accidentally explode your ex and they become a skull that haunts you forever, this was is life. A, Eternal was he, life. Was he an ex before or after you exploded him? Yeah, that seems like a breakup of all of this. That is the complicated part. <laughs> That's um, the complicated part. Yes. Hmm. See, I thought we were done before he exploded. Oh, you're on a break. But <laughs> afterwards, it was like for sure that we were done. That, I so, mean, fair, fair. Yeah, it, there's there's a little discrepancy in the stories, but it all works out. He pays rent. Uh, <laughs> there's that. Um, cool. Maybe, right. uh, maybe you could get a staff that has a glowing thing that floats too. Yeah. Oh, please, no. I would never take the power of darkness. I've worked so hard to put that life behind oh, me. Oh, no, like a nice one that like maybe grew plants or something. Well, yeah, Gwen, yeah. Gwen I would love a flower has... staff. I've been yeah. trying to grow the perfect tree just to cultivate one. Well, Ben had, he was really, uh, he was saying that you weren't a good gardener and he said he was a better gardener. <gasps> I swear, he just like throws his arms up and like immediately throws the front door open and drowns outside. Like, look at this god! <laughs> he said, "Yeah, he definitely said that you don't know marigolds from peonies." <gasps> I may not know my marigolds, but I know a bitch of a skull when I see one. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. Uh, and, and he shows you this immaculate garden with uh, just very ornately set up but uh, uh, yeah uh, like he'll tell you outright now you can only eat about 2% of these and you can only touch less. How much can he smoke? Oh, those are over here. <laughs> it just leads you to a whole separate area with just like the tallest stocks. <laughs> Hello. I'll take some. I'll take some of these for the road. <laughs> Medicinal. 
Material. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see a mage hand uh, come across a, a, a couple of the uh, the stalks and take some clippings, uh, and as they drop uh, uh, from uh, the stalks, a, a a uh, paper bag appears below them as they instantly perfectly dry and fall into the bag and the mage hand brings it over to you. Sick. You got any papers? <laughs> oh, you're I, on your own there. I, I, um, yeah. I use glass. Glass or an apple oh, or a water right. bottle. <laughs> or a potato. Yeah. Oh, apples. No, that I can try. Ooh, mm, no, we can't touch those. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. Well, no, I'll, I'll figure it out. They, uh, thanks. Well, um, <laughs> no worries. Glenn, thank you for your help. Um, I guess we have to go stop an army? No. Yeah. No? Hmm. I don't think so. I think we skip the army, go right to the tr- 3M. Uh, now, uh, you say you have some some friends in danger of this army. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, do you have a way to to warn them of this oncoming danger? Um. Uh, no, mm, but no. But maybe Ben could fly over there because he has a flying skull. Ooh, Ben honestly is far too slow. Uh, but I might have the thing to do that. Uh, if Ben goes over to one of the closets in the room, or Ben, Glenn, Glenn, Glenn goes over to one of the closets in the room and uh, pulls out a, uh, a, what could only be described as an arcane Swiffer wet jet. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, and uh, and uh, has like some flower decor on it. It's like this puppy gets <laughs> 180 feet to six seconds. Ah, uh, yes, the Prius 2000. I've seen those back in Neverland. <laughs> you have? <laughs> Don't ask what we pixies do when you're not around. <laughs> okay, I won't. Um, hmm. Um it besides the obvious uh of the staff, uh you wouldn't happen to know any I don't know, weaknesses or allergies yeah. or something of mm, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Allergens. I'm not <laughs> sure about that. I'm not, the I, I severe kind, not the tummy upset kind. Just, I don't know. Just some, uh, something. Um, yeah, like not not to be offensive, but uh, like undead, like somebody who has been dead and kind of is now undead. Like, like what, re-dead. Re-dead? <laughs> like a well, fl- he is a lich like me, so he will be weak to any oh. kind of things that would be strong against other undead. So, like, like holy water and stuff. Holy, mm-hmm. holy essences, radiant uh, uh, energies. Ollie, you got any? <sighs> Do you know, like, a priest or? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say this isn't the group that has a priest. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Um, now, Ollie, you are from this world, correct? Oh yeah, I, I was a circus worker. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I do have something that might help. Oh yeah. Now against. Most liches like myself, magical, magical attacks are the uh, 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 the the things that really are the things you want to go for. Anything arcane that will harm him, magical fire, magical thorns, magical thunder. What you have and, something? Like shatter. Well, yeah, like- 
Ollie, you are, you are of this world, and you are probably the only person who could use such a thing. Okay. And uh, uh, Glenn goes over to his umbrella stand by the door and uh, pulls it out. And as he holds it in front of you, you see it glowing with arcane energy and the hilt uh, the uh like what would be the point at the top of the umbrella is uh looks almost like a sword grip and the crook of the handle on the umbrella curves outward at a little bit of an extended uh uh shape and ha- and uh, it glows with arcane energy as Glenn hands it to Ollie. Oh, well, so thank you. What do you have here? This is an umbrella. Of some... It's like rain a lot here. So like... It's like an upside down umbrella or something. This is cloudy day. It is a weapon connected <coughs> to this world. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, does I does it look like a weapon that I could use and put in my hand or my trunk? In fact, it looks like a weapon only you could use, Ollie. Okay. Well, thank you. Glenn, I could tell you I want to take this weapon and just beat this triple M so bad with it. Mm. And we're gonna we're gonna save we're gonna save this world, even even if my brother Angus comes out alive out of this whole thing, I'll be okay with that. You know, with my brother. That's what Mama would have wanted. How can we get into the tower hmm. without them knowing? We can stealth. That's good. <clears throat> okay. Okay, Temper. I thought if you've definitely gotten better at stealthing, so. Philly, we've been practicing stealthing. <laughs> yeah, any uh, back doors or um, hmm. windows that he lets open for a breeze or. No, I'm afraid uh, I don't have any blueprints of the property. Uh, today was the first day I've ever uh, had a look inside the place myself. He's not once invited me over for tea, and we're the only two liches on the block. Rude. Uh, seems rude. so rude. Mm. Oh. I mean, you guys should all hang out together with Ben. Was Ben uh, a lich too? Before you. Uh, oh, Ben? No. Th- that is an unfortunate result of the circumstances. We don't talk about that day very often. We don't talk we, about, we about Ben. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about Ben. No. <laughs> Please break um, into song, Glenn. Don't worry. Oh. Sorry, I'm a bit musical. <laughs> Did a few shows in my former life. Oh, lives. Glenn, I'm sorry to interrupt. It's so nice that you gave me this umbrella thing, but I'm confused on like I'm really confused with it. I'm like, uh, help me understand how this thing works. It's like an umbrella. Ollie, or it has a blade. Ollie, here. Let me show you. And uh, Glenn leads you outside. Uh, well, I guess he was, he brought the thing in from outside. So here, hold it however you would like uh, by the grip down here. And Glenn shows you uh, it, to hold it by the tip of the umbrella. So like, like where the top of where it would unfold kind of thing. Okay. So you're holding it like upside down, essentially. Okay. So like the hook is like on top. Hmm. And it opens up into like a large cone, like an ice cream cone. 
<laughs> no, <laughs> it's so like you're holding it and it stays closed when you're holding it like that. Okay. So so like as as whenever you hold it from from that from that tip point like as a handle, it stays completely closed at all times. Okay. Uh, but as Ali swings it around, uh, you hear uh, low rumbles of thunder with every swing of it, uh, and uh, little storm clouds fade off of it as you swing it through the air. Oh, cool. I get it now. Very cool. This is the key to this world. The key to the heart. Of this world. It's a key. It's a key. It's important. It sounds important. Probably shouldn't lose it. No. They should tie like a little rope onto it. Yeah. Oh, like um like the little grippy thing that goes on the end, you know, mm -hmm. like a like a remote. Like for Don't you all have a name for these things? A leash? I've never these, seen anything these, like these, these. These swords shaped like keys? Not yet, because this would be the first one. So, um, yeah. We've never seen uh, we could just like name it. Before. We could name it right now. What, what do you guys think we should name it? You got a name for it? Hooker. <laughs> no, this one's right. name is Cloudy I, Day. I, I, I think Key yours something. has, it a, has name. a name. It has a oh, name. Okay. Key, uh, Keys. key knife, key knife. I like key knife. Key knife. <laughs> we'll work on it. How about clapper? <laughs> Clap on. Because it's gonna put make thunder claps on on this 3M. <laughs> I'm gonna thunder clap that staff ball that it has. I wonder if it has liquid inside of it. Maybe. I'm pretty sure the only thing in it is liquid darkness. Right. Mm. So should we not break it or should we break it? That yes, I would bad. break it if I were oh, you. Okay, well, the, then we'll break it. <laughs> all right. It is um, what it, I believe is controlling all those creatures and in, including the beefed up minotaurs outside. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, I use your key sword to defeat... Mm. Closer. The name seems closer. Yeah. It's there? it's getting there. It's, it's getting, getting there. there. Yeah. He rapier. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, so close. Yeah. <laughs> Key edge. We'll, we'll, we'll no. Work. <laughs> we'll, we'll, yeah. We'll, ha we'll have a a, a group now, come. And there help. is. Higher. There may be a way in to. Mm the castle that might be a little less conspicuous oh do tell but it might get a little messy that's fine oh okay I mean, mess is fine now mm. a place like that that large is going to need some sort of plumbing and uh glenn uh, lays out a map what do you mean the by only plumber? place it what? could be letting off is this cliffside over here. Are you saying we go through the, oh, sewer? the sewers? Thing is, though, when you go through the sewers, you got to take off all your clothes and then hold them up over your head. Oh, so mm. if the wall of water comes, you have dry clothes to put on. <laughs> I have heard that, that there's an influx in that area uh, every yeah. few days, yes. Yeah. Uh, so... You guys oh. gotta prepare to be naked oh. for a while of water. Uh. Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> okay. I mean, oh. Plus, it's like I could just get I, I I could use some new burlap sacks anyway. Now, yeah. do be careful because it's not just waste going down those lines. Okay. It is also failed projects most likely believe me lichdom comes along with a lot of scary things and some of those things don't always work the way the lich wants them to but they are still very dangerous so 
Okay. Be careful. Yeah. Mm. Get hit with some dioramas or something. No, I'm no, not not that. No, not food experiments. (laughs) I I mean, like maybe like they, like they took a a heartless arm off of one and put it on another kind of thing, and it like freaked it out. And Mm. I don't know. Okay. Mm. (laughs) Well, you're you're... going. Sorry, there's flies everywhere. They're coming for the honey. I (laughs) got. Um. All right, well, we're going through the sewers. And then it'll right be good because you won't even be able to smell us. Because we'll just smell like the sewage. I mean, I feel right. like you might be able to smell us more. We'll blend in with the smell, though. We'll just say, oh, the sewer's backing up again. I might have something for that. Uh, uh, Glenn uh, 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 mage hands down from uh, a cabinet across the room uh, a little bottle of perfume but there's definitely like a very fancy zombie on it hmm. and uh, and uh, any any sort of whiff off of it smells essentially like dead bodies oh perfect oh that's not that's great guys that's, uh, you know amazing. if we're worried we'll just play dead now it's this will only mix <laughs> with the shit smell, so you will smell like shit and dead bodies. Oh, that's even more realistic because you defecate yourself when you die. Yeah. Wow, you're two steps ahead of me there. <laughs> yeah. Um, <perfect. laughs> wow. Um, this sounds <laughs> so fun. I am so excited. I'm thrilled. For this, this sounds trip. like exactly my type of journey. I'm yeah. glad it's someone's. <laughs> I'm glad I have a thick hide, and I'm used to wallowing in large amounts of feces. Yeah, I learn new things about you every day, Ollie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ollie Quite right about. <laughs> Sometimes we like to get all around as a as a herd and just get in one big pond and just. I mean, you know, we get in there and just start going crazy and do a tailspin you know what a tailspin is i can guess from the wording i think you sure you can guess i yeah i don't i i don't uh need a, a narration i can guess um wow um this tower is like super far how are we gonna get there can we borrow your magic elevator that sends people <laughs> across distances? <laughs> like, do you have like a really big bird or something? <laughs> a metal uh, one. <laughs> Super. Can we find our old boat? Safe metal bird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. Uh, hmm, let, let me see. Now here, I will. I will do this for you. I will go warn your friends in the village. I know just okay. where okay. the ones you're talking about are. I can get there much faster than Ben can, despite what he might tell you. Now, what I need you all to do is text me when you're done. And he uh, reaches out to Phyllis and uh, says, could I borrow your stone very quickly? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, and uh, Glenn uh, takes the stone and on the back of it essentially like uh, quickly uh, uh, dashes like with his fingernail uh, some arcane runes on the back of it there that's my texting number page me if you need anything and I'll get back to you whenever I can and uh, essentially this is going to work like sending you can do a 25 word message to Glenn and he will try to get back to you whenever he can. All right, sick. Uh, now, as far as getting there yourself, ooh, uh, hmm. Do I have a uh, Glenn and Robin think out loud to themselves? Do I have any of those? Leftover growth potions. Maybe I could give you some ants to ride on to get you to the canyon? Yep, you do. Sweet. 
uh, <laughs> uh, Glenn grabs a, uh, a a bottle down from one of his cabinets. Follow me, everyone, and uh, leads you all outside. He, and did he, say uh, dance? he he kneels down into his garden and uh, pulls out uh, an assortment of bugs uh, and uh, pours. Uh, a little bit of this potion over each of them and then places them all down in front of uh, each of you. Uh, and uh, over the next uh, 10 seconds, uh, grow into a uh, large size ant, a uh, roly poly bug, um, ladybug, and a uh, a smallish caterpillar. Uh, All of them looking like they've been feeding on lich-grown uh, uh, plant life. So all of them are like alive, kinda. Uh, um, which one do you guys want? Uh, I kind of like the roly-poly one. <laughs> I either want the ladybug because I'm a lady or the hairy, nasty caterpillar. I, hmm. I guess I'm oh. the only lady, huh? Ye- I guess I'll take the ladybug. Of, yeah. Um, I guess I'll go with the ants. That's the most ferocious one. It's pincers do bite. I'm going to stay away from those. Oh, don't worry. He's friendly to you. I've made sure that they'll they'll get along with you. Don't worry. I'm I'm glad that you didn't train them to eat us. So, <laughs> train is a a harsh word. Hmm. <laughs> Starting to doubt the credibility of these stones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love my little ladybug. I mean, that was good bacon. Mm. I'll take the caterpillar, I suppose. Then that's all. Still eating bacon. Oh yeah, I've been eating bacon. I'll time. take the caterpillar if you want the uh, roly poly, Merrick. No, I'll oh, take I the caterpillar. Bacon. He looks friendly. I haven't yeah. been able to taste a BLT in thirty years. Why? Tongue gave out. What? <laughs> It's gone. He's a lich. His whole body is like <laughs> decaying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that sucks. No, uh, comes with the consequences. Well, that's kind of why I'm doing my best to do what I can for you all now. You're the next generation. Uh, I wonder if the caterpillar is actually the best mount because it is a soft creature it doesn't have an exoskeleton i feel like it's like the most slithery most sneaky yeah a lot of potential there well the ladybug can fly oh fuck yeah Only for short periods with someone on its back i'm i'm but tiny I, I had i had a thought how yeah. are we gonna get our insects across the water because we're still on the island I mean, can bugs swim? I've seen ants go across puddles before. <laughs> oh no! Uh, Magic. Yes, Magic. yeah. Don't worry about that. There will, there, uh, when you when you've this, decided to leave, a proper path will p- present itself. This voice is appearing in my head, saying we have magic in this world. <laughs> um. All right. Sick. Um. I'm. Uh, I think I'm. Um, I mean, I think I'm as ready as I'm ever gonna be to fight this guy with this, the, Same. the key edge. Uh, we're so close. We need like a it's focus. It's almost group. there. It's very. It's getting there. Like, hmm. Lock blade. No, that's not no. it. No. <laughs> it's a key, silly. <laughs> oh, right. All and the way around. Stick it in a lock. Um, oh, it's okay. No. I, I'm you sure workshop it. I'll somewhere. workshop it. Yeah. We'll text. Let's think about it. <laughs> Focus group. 
Tags. Tags. Now, get going and be kind to those four. The caterpillar can take an extra person or two if you need them to. Oh, and Glenn uh, throws the Prius 5000 uh, between their legs and goes, Toodaloo! And just, psh, like, blasts off. That was an interesting... So I guess me and Temper are on the caterpillar then. I am starting to understand Ben. Yeah, I mean that's the most <laughs> that's the nicest undead I've ever hung out with though. You hang out with many undead? There was a zombie that wandered into my little uh, hermit area there a long time ago. Hmm. It just it tried to bite me but it was so pitiful and I just kinda of pushed it away and then I put it in the water. I couldn't get it out of there. So then I came over and I splashed water and stick its head out of the water. <laughs> Did you drown? You drowned, you zombie friend. <laughs> it was sorry. It didn't kill it though. It just I had you to put him somewhere. You drowned him like you were gonna drown Terry. Oh, well, I mean, it was just a good place to put him for that time at that point. Was the zombie? Who, the Terry? zombie or Terry? <laughs> no, the zombie. Well, <laughs> what did you do with Terry? I don't know. Honestly, I'll tell you did what. Did Terry if, actually leave, or did you like? I don't have any beef with Terry anymore. <laughs> Well, it's too late. Okay. Um, Terry's gone. Let's. I guess let's start heading to the tower because Glenn's gonna tell the tell the the fam that you know bad shit's coming. So let's just yeah. start. Let's start heading to the tower. Let's start riding these insects over yes. there. Onward, yeah. Aunt Drew. Yes, you armadillo <laughs> bug. Forward. <laughs> Yeah, so you get on your bugs and you ride uh, towards the edge of the island. And when you get to the edge of the island, just as Glenn said, the path would appear, rising from Broomlock um, towards the area of the map where uh, Loose Mac Hollow is, a stone sort of path rises up out of the water and as you go across it like the one behind you falls as the next part comes up jeez hope i don't miss I hope you don't either yeah. Yeah, don't slip little buddy yes yeah, so you just have like this horde of giant sized bugs riding mm -hmm. across this rocky path across the lake <clears throat> Through the mist as you break the shore of uh, Broomlock near Loose Mac Hollow. Um, it's kind of dark when you kind of get over there. You've spent a lot of time, you know, traveling around, being all over the land, things of the sort. And uh, you find yourself in an abandoned little fishing village. Uh, you don't find any Heartless or anything where you're able to stop and take a long rest to prepare for the um, adventure before you where you're gonna go stop the BBEG of this land. 3M. The 3M. Mm. Mm. So that being said, we're gonna do a thing. <laughs>